Hello everyone, and this is yet another short video on regulation 30. This time I'm going to ask a question relating to clause 5A of para A of part part A of uh, schedule 30, uh, schedule 3, relating to shareholders agreements. And the question is, does a will of a promoter relating to the majority shares owned by the promoter require a disclosure in terms of clause 5A? If you have this question, you ever thought of this question, uh, by this short video is going to hold answer for you, but just just hold on for a minute before I answer this question. Let me say that as you get into implementing regulation 30, the more you study, the more you implement, the more you get into brass tech implementation of regulation 30. That's that's when you get to learn the intricacy, intricacy, the nuances. It's almost like learning to drive a car. The more you drive it, the more you have situations to face. The more you get uh, those uh, variety of obstacles, and that's exactly how we learn. So when it comes to 5A, it pertains to shareholders agreements. The exact language of 5A goes as follows. It talks about agreements entered into by shareholders, promoters, promoter group entities, related parties, directors, KMPs, employees, etc. Relating to, there are many things, but as of now we're talking about management control. Now, why is the question of will at all coming? Because most uh, promoting uh, shareholders, promoters would probably have a will where they would assign their shareholding to someone after their death. And or in, in fact, will may actually amount to gifting shares even before that. But the question is, does a will ever require a disclosure? And before I get into the, the technical answer, I must say there's absolutely never any question of any will of any person requiring disclosure before the death of the individual. Will is a completely personal document. There's absolutely never a question of anyone forcing the will to be disclosed because a will could be disclosed before the death of the individual, it could create absolutely unimaginable situation that therefore there's absolutely nothing that can ever require disclosure of a will, even by regulatory force before the death of the individual. No way. That's part one. But let's get into technical question, technical answer. Technically, the language of 5A talks about agreements. A will is not an agreement at all. A will is a person's own will. It's his own, what you call stipulation as to who will be entitled to, I mean, who will be entitled to my property or properties in the event of death of the individual. There's absolutely no question of that being an agreement. It's not an agreement because will can never be bilateral. Will is always unilateral. And therefore, it's not, not a question of an agreement at all. Therefore, stand relaxed, stand relieved, give a relief to your promoter shareholders as well, your directors or KMPs, give them an absolutely peace of mind. Sir, please don't worry. Nothing can disturb your peace when it comes to disclosure of a will. Aapka will, aapki niji amanat hai, aap niji, aapki secret, aapka will is always secret. Aapki niji uh, wo samajhi wasiyat hai. Kisi bhi regulation mein taakat nahi hai, joe kahe ki aapki will aap disclose kare. Please don't worry on that. But before parting, I must request you all, if you have any questions on regulation 30, please do post, please do post us with the question because the more questions we, for, we, we, we face, the more we have been learning it since been quite a joyful learning experience for us as we continue to handle questions. So please do not hesitate to post your questions and we will be happy to answer questions of academic nature on Regulation 30. I'm intending to come with some more videos in short while on Regulation 30 as we have gained uh, implementation experience. So thank you very much. Stay tuned and thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.